So yeah, he just came out the womb, evil as fuck. Fucking for what? <laughs> he did. Why did you okay, say that? Okay, so, so, well, okay, so, I don't remember his name, really. What was the name? Was Darth? Darth Tenebros. Darth Tenebros. I think that is the one that I was, that, that I was watching. But, yeah. that guy had like three names. He had three different Sith names in his life. He was a pure blood Sith, like the so race the, Sith. Like the, the actual red race skin and the t uh, tentacles with on the, the chin. The, yeah, the act. That's what oh, he was. Shit. He was born an actual fucking full, pure blood Sith race. Nice. And he came out the womb evil as fuck. That's pretty much what it said. Like he came out the womb dark side. <clears throat> By like the age of six, he uh, his his. He had the force powers, and the father didn't, um, he didn't have any force powers, and his wife didn't have any force powers, <clears throat> so the father kind of looked into it, and the wife had cheated on the father with a, uh, Sith Lord, dad was super pissed about it, and the son kills the dad by using the father's anger, kills the father, and then takes, what was it, like a couple of weeks to torture his mother to death for ruining their family by cheating on his father. Damn. So he kills both his parents. Well, good on him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he got to punish everybody. Because yeah. he, he, oh, he, he punishes the Sith Lord, too, later. But he eventually, he just, like, takes over his town. And then he runs into the Sith Lord that cheated with, that his mom cheated with, you know, <clears throat> comes across him. And he's only like nine. He's only like nine, like between six to nine years old at this point. Do you he's know a the... freaking kid yet. Do you know the Sith Lord, the, like how powerful he was? Uh, I mean, well, he's a Sith Lord in the Sith race that had was managing to run his town. So he had to have been pretty decently strong. Okay. Like, way stronger than a freaking six to nine-year-old should be. Yeah. Okay? Right? So, he he runs into him, says they say something or whatever, and then he just drains his, his Sith, you know, his real-blooded father, his Sith, Sith father, his Sith Lord father. He just drains him of all of his Force abilities. Sick. Takes it all from him. Hell yeah. <laughs> just robs him of it and just... And then he said he's ruling the town. At the age of nine, he's a freaking warlord. <laughs> On his own planet. At the age of nine, this kid came out of the womb evil as fuck. <laughs> and uh, isn't that the guy that... He's the one that also got the all the Sith to join up on that one planet because they were going to do a ritual and um, get stronger to be able to take out the Jedi. Right, and he called them all there. And what he did is he did a ritual, but the ritual was, um, he sucked all of the force, energy, and life out of everybody there. Everybody who lived on the planet, every plant on the planet, every living organism on the planet, the planet itself. It is a complete dead rock. So it's like. A thought bomb, but times ten. Like he sucked the life and force energy out of everything, and consumed it into himself, and became more powerful. Mm. Like, yeah, that was his goal. That was exactly what his goal was. And how this started out? How this started out was that um, they were comparing, like, okay, so Darth Sidious is. You know, Palpatine, he's he's considered, like, one of the most evil fucking Sith. Yeah. Okay? But, like, and and his and his name is Sidious, and he is a twisted and tortured dude. Yeah. Nasty motherfucker. He tortures people for fun. Oh, he gets off on it. Oh, yeah, he does. <clears throat> like, he enjoys it thoroughly. This other guy... Basically, it was like this Sith that we're that he's going to talk about would have gave Sidious shivers, because this dude did shit like that, just <laughs> sucked everything up on the planet, killed the entire planet and everybody there. Eventually, the other Sith 
<clears throat> find the planet and figure out what happened. And even the Sith, his own people, were like, and they're evil, right? They're like, that's going way too far. We gotta kill this guy. Yeah. Like that's going he's like he's like he's like, he's like I can somewhere. understand I can understand destruction and I can understand dominating stuff, but like I can't remember what the words was that he used, but sucking the life out of he was like everybody and the whole this planet. This was this was just it was it was beyond any of that. It was beyond any of that. It was just so so massively wrong that even the Sith that are evil and do all kinds of messed up things it was like it was too much for them <sighs> like this dude started getting a god complex that he was gonna take he was gonna go and he was gonna take and get so powerful that he could just, just suck all the life out of the entire galaxy, destroy the entire galaxy, so he could make a new one. And then, when he makes a new one, if he <clears throat> if he gets bored with it, he can destroy that one and make another one. Like that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to become like a god. He had a god complex, and like so, even Darth Sidious, right? He was like. There's killing, you know, some you got to kill and everything to be yeah. able to rule and subjugate, okay? You but the thing is, is he doesn't want to home. rule, he, Sidious doesn't want to rule an entire galaxy with nobody in it. This yeah, other he, guy... He likes, to, he likes to fight him. Yeah, he likes to, it's, you know, he doesn't want to rule a galaxy with nobody in it. <clears throat> This other dude, Tenebris, or whatever he is, whatever his name is by that point, because like I say, he's got three. Yeah, <clears throat> Tenebris. Darth Tenebris. Yeah, Darth Victus or whatever, I think. Two was his other one. What? Yeah, Darth Victus Human. Okay. <clears throat> you got over there. I do believe, because it went, it went, uh, dude was alive for like a ridiculous amount of time, too. Like, he knew, like, he tortured Revan. When Revan turned back to a regular Jedi, did all that, and then he went out to go track this guy down I to kill him. I that was the same timeline. If I remember right, it's this guy. And he tortured, he tortured Revan, the Jedi Revan, for 300 years. First off, how, how are they surviving that long? Because he was using the Force to keep him alive. He so knew long, how to. He's the one that gave Scourge. He's the one that gave Scourge the ability to live immortal, but didn't tell him until after he had it that it was going to cause him to be in so much pain. And the only way you can you can dull the pain of that is by just getting used to it. So you uh, don't like this dude. It? Like this dude. Like was was like around for like. A huge chunk of your list right there. <laughs> Darth Vectivus is... I, um, I think it's the same dude. Darth Vectivus, Darth Penibus, and there's a third one that he's like an emperor, and it's not a Darth name. It's a different name. But... I got a, a crash. He's got... He's got his... He's got... I mean, I can pull up the video and rewind it a bit to him. K-R-A-S. But this dude... So, like, Palpatine doesn't want to rule an empty galaxy. This guy doesn't care. He doesn't care about ruling anybody. Yeah, he wants to he do just it wants as to, his fitting. He wants to do whatever he wants to do. Like, and he believed, like, okay, so Darth Sidious was never arrogant enough to believe that the full blood, the dark side existed for him, right? Yeah. Like, no. He served the dark side of the Force. You know? Like, he was its servant. Yeah. Okay? This dude... This other one in the past, the dark side, he believed the dark side existed for him. He didn't serve it, it served him. The dark side's existence existed to serve him. Its existence was for him. His purposes. That's how he viewed it. <clears throat> like the shit he did to his kids. Okay, so he had, so he never, he had twin sons 
and he had a daughter, and I guess he had another younger son, but um, he had twin sons, and he never approved anything that they ever did. No matter how great or how small, he never gave him any praise, anything of that he loved him, none of it. Were they right? force sensitive? Yeah, they became Sith. They were Sith under Pops. But <clears throat> um, one day, uh, the dad... The Darth, the Darth guy, he, he pushed him too far. Tenebrous. <clears throat> and the one son tried to kill the father, and then the other brother killed that, killed killed his brother to stop that from happening, and then that was the only time that he ever acknowledged his son on anything. And then he had his daughter kidnapped, taken to a Sith-like torturing place, and tortured with the dark side of the Force and everything to become a, some kind of, like, dark side monster. Oh. Like, straight up, like, had his own daughter kidnapped, put through this shit to turn her into a, a freaking fucked up, like, dark side monster. That's what, uh, <laughs> and then I don't know he did he didn't, with Maul. He didn't go kinda. into, he didn't go into it too much, the guy who was talking about it. But I think there was a little brother under that one <clears throat> and he tried to fuck with the little brother somehow and the little one the kid is his late his, le- his, his youngest son he was the one that brought him down he's the one that took him out but Tenerous? he took out Tenerous yeah pretty sure that's what he was dead yeah the kid took out the dad <laughs> no there was a kid I don't know he didn't get to that too much but he went over like this dude was that. Same major on nine or this, this dude was that thing. fucked up. Like he didn't care about the empires. He didn't care about nothing. He only cared about himself. And <clears throat> like it, it was it. That's yeah. He was the most fucked up Sith Lord ever. Oh no! And, and when I go and, and when I go and when I go to do this one on the um. Well, he wasn't Tenebris at that point because he was a different name by that point. At that point, so he was he some died and came guy. back to life. No, he lived this long. He was he, he had three different dark, he had three different Sith names. He lived this long. He learned how to be immortal. He taught Scourge how to be immortal. Yeah, but you said his son killed him. Yeah, eventually his son killed him. Yeah, but is it? Uh, That's what the guy said. Fucking Plagueis isn't. Like you're supposed to kill Tenebris for the rule of two. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't Tenebris then. I might be having the wrong guy. Uh, but all I know is because this dude was a long time ago, and I might just have the wrong one. It might be. It might be Victus, Darth Victus, Vectivus. Yeah, Vectivus. It might be Darth Vectivus that I got going on. That I'm thinking of, but the dude had, dude had three different. He had his original look of when he was when he was born, like being as a Sith. Then he had some other look part way through his life when he was a different Darth version of himself, and then he had the last, the last one, where he was, um, uh, where he was an emperor or something. But he didn't care about, like, he didn't care about an empire. He didn't care about any of that crap. Like, he wasn't, he wasn't like the other Sith. Like, like the one Sith said, you know, it's, yeah, I can understand destruction. I can understand this. But he was like, that was just beyond that. That was just straight up heinous. Yeah. It was just. Because you're taking all life, even the planet, for yourself, for the gain of controlling everything for your own desire that's pretty bizarre mm-hmm. just to wipe out the whole everything of existence and making something new just if you get bored with it to do that again yeah like for real that's what he was doing <clears throat> is he wanted to get that powerful and so even Darth Sidious who was one of the most fucked up Sith ever like just he twisted people's minds and tortured people and everything all kinds of stuff like a lot of the old Sith were really messed up and everything but like compared to Sidious yeah Sidious Sidious was, was pretty, pretty sadistic pretty sadistic dude 
Yeah. Like he's 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 the guy you don't want to run into in the horror film. Okay? Like that's the one you don't want to run into in the horror film. This dude makes Sidious look like child's play. <laughs> like you know the dude you're talking about? Is it Tenebris or... <sighs> I can look at the YouTube video real quick. Vec- Vec- Victivus. Victivus. I, 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 no, I'm pretty sure Victivus is one of it, but he had three names. These fucking names. Why like, can't they have a, like something like... I don't know, like easy, like Darth Vader? Like Dan, you know? Darth Dan. <laughs> My name is Darth Dan. Nah. Dude, that sounds like... That's, no, that sounds like something that would be in, like, some cheesy, like, 80s <laughs> friggin' movie, you know? Like, it's got that... Like, it does. Darth it's Helmet? Got, yeah, it's got that, it's got that kind of ring to it, like, Darth yeah. Dan, you know? Like, it's got that... It doesn't want to friggin' pull up for some reason. For some reason, it's spinny wheel. Why, I don't know, but I need it to pull up. There we go. So I'm gonna turn up the volume. Yeah, I try to uh, find it here because I gotta hear it. Oh damn, we don't want copyright. No, we're not gonna have copyright. But I need his name. Doesn't it show up on the thing? No, I gotta hear it. God damn. Do you know where it's at? Yeah, I was still I was still on the section with the dude. Like it's like a chunk of this guy's video. I mean, there's a little bit ahead of it. Well, I never, like, I try to figure out the line of, from, like, Revan to Palpatine. But honestly, a lot of the Sith lines they do just disappear. From Apprentice killing the Master and the Apprentice just not doing anything or getting killed by a Jedi or an action. And there isn't just one group of Sith. There are other groups of Sith out and about. Here it is. Darth Vishia. Alright, no more copyright. Huh! He is Tenebris. Oh. And Valkorian. Well, that's not the same name as what was said. Well, hopefully it was quiet enough that nobody really heard it, but I didn't have any other option because I had to hear the name. Oh, everybody heard it. They're going to link it up right now. We're going to get Well, we'll have to. All we got to do is just, you know, give the guy credit. (laughs) So let's do that real quick. Do you know his name by name? Oh, you can use his YouTube channel to do it. Oh, yeah, and also all the pictures on the YouTube channel that are not ours. They're founded by Google. They're founded by Google. Or they're found on Google, not founded by. (laughs) The Stupendous Wave is the uh, YouTuber that I got the information from about this particular Sith. He's pretty good. Um, Yeah, he has a lot of videos about a lot of different subjects about Star Wars. So... There you go. Um, so if anybody heard anything from that, that was the guy. So we're 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 giving a nod to him. So y'all can go check it out if you want. I don't know um, if he's one hundred percent accurate though. Have it. He's check. uh the video is ancient Sith um, lore video compilation five hours. That's the one I was looking at because it's so it's so dang on. It's so hard to just go after one video and then go for another one or something to try to get... Yeah, if I'm doing something... It's just easier to just try to find, like, a compilation of stuff. 
so you can do some brushing up with that. Yeah, if I'm, like, cleaning or washing dish dishes, I'll just throw on, like, an hour-long whatever on Star Wars to just listen to it. Star Wars, huh? Yep. Or, uh, audio books that I've been listening to. Like, I just finished the Darth Bane, the first one. No re so he's Emperor Valorian. Darth, uh, the other V one. And apparently Tenebris. Yeah. Or well, whatever. I know. All I know is that this son of a bitch <laughs> was alive a very long time. And he had three different forms throughout his life. He had the one where he looked like a Sith. Then he had, because like an actual Sith race. Then he had one where he kind of looked more like Palpatine, but not. So he was transferring his, his soul to another body? And then he had one where he was a um, human man that had like a grayer beard. Like so yeah, he was transferring his soul. Maybe. Or he was just consuming so much life force from stuff that he was just able to change his body at will. Like, it's crazy. He learned how to do so much stuff. I guess, but why wouldn't he do that? Because he wants to. But for what purpose? Because he wants to. Haven't you figured it out? This guy doesn't have a purpose for jack shit other than yeah, what he know. wants. Like he he like oh I don't want like my tentacles today I want and I don't like having hair so I'm gonna look well, like an he old wasn't dude that no powerful hair. yet he was going to be but he wasn't that powerful how yet. did we like he could have been he would have done something by then he did do things he could have done like a, th a Thanos snap on like all the Jedi or anybody like coming at him he was working on it. Or he could, like, make his own, like, planet that he doesn't have to... He was working with, on it. Know? Like, he was working on it, but it takes time to grow up that much power. Like, you can be... But you can't... That's a lot. That's so much power that you would have to have to be able to annihilate that entire galaxy. It's just... Ridiculous. Well, if he was strong enough. Yeah, I'm but. Just saying. <laughs> and he was working on it, though. Like, that's what he was doing. He was working on it. He was going to suck the life out of the entire galaxy. Yeah. And then destroy it. And then make a new one. And Palpatine's just over here, is like, I just want to roll the galaxy and just sit on my chair and just look at it all look at the beauty of my whole galaxy yeah yeah you see all those people getting tortured over there it's so beautiful isn't it huh. it's just like hey Vader you see that planet ah isn't that wonderful <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Darth Sidious right there that's what he is dude and he's like oh ah and he can he can feel the fear and everything in the in the yeah, thing. He's like he's just energy. he's just ah oh, yeah oh yeah yeah get to that planet too I need it oh don't say that kind of referring to like that's how he gets off I he's think it planet. is I think it is and the way he tortures people I think no, it that's is a little weird what well. well I don't think he can get it up unless he hears somebody screaming while they're getting electrocuted from his force lightning. Well, there is BDSM around, so there maybe there is Star Wars BDSM, you know? There is, <laughs> there is BDSM in Star Wars. So BDSM, BDSM. And in, every, in every, every fantasy world. Yeah, there has to be, right? There's BDSM. There has to be. Everyone. There's some kinky BDSM in everyone. Oh, what, well, um... So what else you got? Fuck. 
school. It's your turn, bud. You gotta school me. You've been researching this stuff for like two weeks. Yeah, but I forgot the uh, which one it was. But there was a chick that looked like Darth Talon, but it wasn't. Hmm. It was in one in one of my. Oh, look up uh, Darth Julie. All I know is is look it up. The uh, I can't look anything up. The carpet matches the drapes. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you? Well, what do you do? I want to care. I'll be like, move those out of the way. If that's just your no. hair, that's just your hair. No, no, that wasn't what. That wasn't what it was trying to imply in that. No? No, it was trying to imply. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> also, that's meaning that all tw uh, Twi'leks are... Men. They're not. They're not. It's cool. <laughs> it's that cool. was just cool. that was they're not they're not that was just that was just don't a, ruin this nerd guess that was me. just a one off thing that somebody did because they thought they could really get a good good joke out of it yeah because you know there are humans that have you know born that way yeah so they had a Twi'lek one too if it's natural here it has to be natural there you know so it was it was it was just hilarious. Okay, I can actually unplug that now. It's got my choice. All right, now what did you want me to look up? Darth, uh, Julie? Am I saying that Guile. Right? Guile? Oh, <laughs> I'm terrible with names. Good thing you're here. I'll be doing misinformation all the way. That could be some, this could be somebody completely different. Uh, this is, uh, she does not look like a tweet leak. Let me see. Let me see. I need to see what you're... Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I had something about her, too. Just a little bit of information. So you basically you spent two weeks studying and told me I had to do that, and I come up with more in a night and a day than you did? What do you mean? <laughs> I can remember more in one watching of a video. <laughs> yeah, but I got short-term memory and long-term memory. It's a whole problem. I bet. I bet. Extracurricular activities make that worse. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, if I can't remember shit, it's not like it's going to get any better. I'm going to see if there's some more pictures of her. That's my thought. But okay, so what was the thing about her? Fuck. I forgot who it was, though. Because it could have been uh -huh. Guile or Jean. That chick's kind of hot. <laughs> who the hell are you looking at? Darth Callus. Callus. I think it's Callus. Kalis. K A L I S. <laughs> I don't think I have her. Yeah, I don't have her on my thing. Oh. Yeah. I don't think she's real. She's from a fandom. I don't think it's real. But there was a... Well, after Darth Vane was Darth Xana. And then after Darth Xana... Became Darth... Millennial... Darth Millennial, I think he was a human. Wasn't he a human? He had one eye. He could see into the future. He was very good into the Sith... The Sith magic. He later on said, fuck the Sith, basically. We were like, fuck the rule of two and just became a, a deity. Oh, like... No, no. Probably not deity is probably not the word. But maybe, like, a monk. Darth Vitiate. There! The complete legend of Vitiate. 
the Sith Emperor of the old of the old Republic, probably. But see, Darth Vissian. Okay, that was his last one or whatever. But he is he is like Tenebrae, Tenebrae. It's not Ten Tenebrae, it's Tenebrae. But Tenebrae, known as the Tenebrae. old Sith Empire, as Vitiate, his reconstituted Sith Empire as the Sith Emperor, and his Eternal Empire as Immortal Emperor, uh, Volcoran. Yeah, Volcoran was an ancient dark side entity of enormous power who manipulated galactic affairs for nearly 1,500 years. Damn. I told you, he learned things. He did stuff. He done with the... But a big chunk of this list up here dealt with this man. The force <laughs> works in mysterious ways. What can I say? Yeah, I'm dude, not like, a Jedi he's, or Sith. He's, he's... He's friggin'... And he's fucked up. That's the guy that, that did all that horrible stuff that I told you about. He came out the womb evil as fuck. But you had stuff. You had stuff. I'm, I'm waiting. Uh, honestly, I'd probably be a minor if I was in the Star Wars Galaxy. Be a minor? Yeah. Minor for shit, you know. Do whatever they yeah, do. This is a Sith episode, not a we're gonna go mine for well, shit Well, I'm so. just saying... Are you trying to go mine for some stuff so yet well, you got something to say? Yeah. <laughs> got deep in my core memories. But uh Darth Ramage taught Darth Tenebris or Vitiate was the name. Um Tenbaris is the one that you were talking about. Yeah. And then it was Darth Guy. This is Tenebrae. Assuming. So he's Tenebrae, not Tenbaris. I had it mixed up. It was close enough that I... Oh. So Tenbaris is still in your plot line, how you, how you were going. So you're okay. You're right. Well, you know, there's different things going around. You're not... You don't have to worry about being that, you know... Screwed up. You're good. What you mean? I know what I'm talking about half the time. A little bit of like 65, 71. <laughs> you were good. I was the one that was off. Yeah, but, uh... But I have a good excuse. The name started the same way. Tenbaris and Tenebrae, they... they, they... Yeah, I would have confused that, too. But there is one, uh... Sith on here that is looking like there's also another one with horns on her head I was saying if you like a Twi'lek would horns do the same thing for you no. if it was just a chick but she had like ram horns on her head I so still no I do it Hold on, there bro. There are people, you, too. You, you are... You are trying to get off subject because you forgot something. No, I was going <laughs> to say something about here, but I'm, this is what I wanted to say. That's why I wanted to show you a picture, but I can't find who it is because my phone is recording, so I can't look at my pictures that I downloaded that I'm going to send you after this. We got Darth Xana. Let's just, there's 41 more. We got, Dude, what's your name? Uh, Darth uh, Ventress. We got Darth Talon. We got Darth Malati. We got Look up Darth Shira Jean. Bree. Look up Darth Jean. G-E-A-N. G-E-A-N? Yeah, I think that's it. If it's not, then fuck. I don't know. Well, this was the whole list of... But honestly, chicks. uh... Darth... People might be saying, like, because uh, that uh, Palpatine might not be following the rule of two, neither is Dooku or Vader, but also... Darth yeah, Ma she's a Twi'lek. 
Let me see them. Darth Jean, she's a Tweety. Oh yeah, that, that was one of the chicks. No, that wasn't it though. I I don't know. But why do they always make all the Darth like Tweety red been skinned? Because that's not actually um, practical. Because yeah, it's very rare. Very very rare. Like you got Tweety's that have red skin, but that vibrant of a red skin. I not, think there's. I think like three. And then on top of it, you got her with the freaking with the the black patterns and everything, just like like I Darth Maul I think and that's Talon. Tattooed. Yeah, but that's that's the thing is they don't. <laughs> yeah, they need a. It's not practical that both the two Tweelik female Darth chicks are going to be red-skinned and have black tattoos. What can they say? Black and red looks cool. I know. If it wouldn't look weird like now, here, I'd probably do it too. That would be pretty cool. Just tattoo my whole body, black and red. I mean, my truck is black and red. My favorite superhero wears black and red. And let's face it, he's not a hero. No. <laughs> anti-villain? Yeah. I say He's an anti-hero that's anti-villain and anti-everything else. <laughs> He's Wait. a merc with a mouth. He just likes a paycheck and do, okay. some, and do some messed up shit. <laughs> no, no, off topic here. <laughs> Listen, you got onto the black and red. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> you should have never distracted me. <laughs> It could have been uh, Darth Xana, but anyways. Darth Xana? Yeah. That you was... Are just really looking hard, and Xana looks that like... That was Bane's... Xana's a human. Bane's... That was Bane's apprentice. Would you start looking at these names? I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. But uh, Darth Maul, he wasn't... He was there for... To be a Sith, but he wasn't going to... Sith female characters... But he wasn't like the actual apprentice that was going to. There's some here that is clearly not and, Sith. And uh, get to the top. He was there for an assassin. He was an assassin Sith. That's what Ventress was. That's what. Well, Count Dooku was a placeholder. This uh, chick has horns. Okay, let me see. I can't see your phone. It, it looks I know, flat. but I can't see the name because the name's not there now. No, that's not it. No, well, um, her name is Darth Phoebo or Phobos. Those horns would kind of, kind of throw me off. Darth Phobos. There are like two horns on either side of your head on your like temple area. Those would kind of throw me off. There's three of them actually on each side. Really? The oh. chick's got three on each side. Well, I'm blind. Well, I'm the only one with horns. Okay? <laughs> well, I said look I up think name. You, I think you were imagining things. It's the only one with horns I got listed. I put in Sith female characters. <laughs> what about Darth uh, Kongenus? Who? What? Darth Kongenus. Probably Tom, not, you miss? Probably not pronouncing that right. Probably it's not. Is it just Darth, is it communist? It, no, it's C O N G N U S. Darth Kongnus. C O N. Mm. Kongnus. Cognus. It's Cognus. Darth Cognus. You're good names. Is that it? No, it's just a fucking human. Nope. Or something. Wait, wait, wait. No, look. She has horns. Oh, okay. Would that throw you off? Or would you still say that's okay? Ah. Uh, see, this one doesn't have horns. I don't think that's the same person. It's supposed to be. Well, Google doesn't say everything, all right? Google has. This one is not so bad. This one here, it's got hair and that. This one back here, though. This one back here? No, I'm definitely not doing that. Yeah, that's more like a dinosaur head type 
This one is more realistic, more kind of like a, uh, maybe like a, like a demon or something, you know, like in, in our realm of world that we just would be more like a demon or a devil that we could possibly see, like a succubus or something. That one, she's all right. <laughs> see, look, that, that looks like the aliens from Independence Day with the horns from like the dude from the one movie where they killed the freaking, uh... Uh, unicorn at the beginning of it, and we don't have thing. What do you have to say? I would not. Happen. At all. I wouldn't. I don't drink, so we're never gonna have to worry about it. Well, <laughs> would, but I want to know why is that your question? Because sex is a very important subject for all human life. That's how evolution and species grow. <sighs> yeah, but that's not why you're on it's not why you're on don't, the subject don't change the subject he said don't change the subject I got it onto this and I'm sticking uh, to it now alright well you go ahead I don't and think I me. could I don't think I maybe like I said the one I'm cool with that that's too much I don't know but like if the horns are coming like protruding like if it's around the side of the face area coming, like, outward, probably not. I wouldn't want to, like, rub up against the, you know. Like, everything. I don't want to rub up against the You horns. see, the thing is, is, like, Twi'leks don't have hair, right? No, but they got the, like, tentacles okay. on their head. But the tentacles off of their head, right? They don't have hair, but the tentacles off of their head. For some reason, like, okay, so humans, we like to have hair. Like, we see, you know, a lot of times, um, bald or, like, well, chicks that have, of, like, no hair, you know, kind of grow up hair. with hair. We but we, 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 don't we, like chicks, to, we, we just... like chicks that have hair, right? Oh, okay. no, I could go for a bald chick. Yeah, but the point is, <laughs> is that most of the time, it's the the um, attractive thing is a chick with hair. Yeah, in right? the social okay, standard, but toy lakes don't have any hair. Like, males and females, they don't have any hair, right? Yeah. But they got the brain tails, and the brain tails... That's what like, they're called? Yeah. Is there brain liku, in the it's, it's, li it's like liku or whatever like that, like the actual thing, but like how, how it's, it's brain tails. It doesn't actually have their brain in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> brain tails is the slang word for it, but it's like uh, leak, uh, leakus or something. I cannot remember. It's been forever since I've even seen the word. So we're lucky I even got that far with it. But um, there's something really attractive about them. And it's like there was a video somebody was making about the, the brain tails, like Twee Leaks with the brain tails. Why? That seems so attractive. I don't know. As a young boy, I seen that with the. Theme. You seen one in some skimpy clothes dancing in Jabba's palace. Yeah, and that was and all like, it took. Okay, I can get down with this, <laughs> and it kind of stuck with me till adulthood. You see, that wasn't really in there very much in the version I seen because I didn't get the later cut from like you know. Oh, I got. I got the it. other one, so it didn't have as much of her dancing in there as the later version did. Okay. It still doesn't have much. It had, it had her. It had her in there, but the later version had more. There was more to it. Yeah. Than one I had that I grew up with. Okay, but there's only two Twi'leks that you ever see in the old Star Wars, and that's his his uh, his like <clears throat> his kind of not like Butler, but the guy that um, acts as his buffer between people. You know, when they come in Jabba's palace, the okay. dude with the blue. He, the blue head and everything, he's a toy lake. And then the chick was a toy lake. I didn't know he was a toy lake. I thought it was something else. Nope, both of them were toy lakes. Those were the only two you've seen in the original three. As far as I know. That's it. <clears throat> it was those two. So you had the guy and the chick. And both of them have the brain tails. Both of them don't have any hair. And, I mean, the dude was kind of just kind of nasty looking. But he was meant to be creepy and nasty looking because... Uh, I think that's just more of his poor hygiene. He was supposed to be, because he's, like, supposed to be a villain working for Jabba, so he's supposed to be like that. Yeah. And then the then the other, the female one, she's supposed to be the prize, like, 
uh, oh yeah, she's supposed know, to look clean. Little she's sex slave thing for for Jabba. So she's supposed to look all pretty and everything like that. So they flash her up and they make him look bad. But Twi'leks in general, both male and female, there are they they range just like humans, but a lot of them, like their average um, attractiveness is higher than our human average attractiveness. Most Twi'leks are... I don't think are, you could attract them <clears throat> on a scale. Most Twi'leks are more attractive on average than... I think that just depends on the person. Like some chicks like a guy with a beard. Some chicks you, I'm like just them. going off of just the average thing of looks, okay? There are people who like fat people, and there are people who like really skinny people, and there are people who like everybody in between, and all that crap, and all that. Da, da, da. I'm just yeah. going off the of average. The average thing of what the majority of people would find attractive. <clears throat> so, on the scale of 1 to 10, the average for a human on a scale of 1 to 10 is 5, 6, right? Not necessarily, but mid range, okay? That's what I'm saying. For a toy lake, the average kind of thing would be more like, <clears throat> for both male and female, would be more like 7, 8. Well, you know, On the scale for a human, 7, 8. Django kind of tapped it. The toy lake had a whole family. Well, clone of him did. Yeah. So. Well, you've seen the different, the, the colors of the skin. It wasn't. Either or. Yeah, you got to see more of the Twi'leks than that they actually don't just have. They did it in that one Star Wars movie. They had a blue one and a green one. The guy was blue and the chick was green. Yeah. <clears throat> but they're supposed to have, you know. Yeah, there's different races. Like, there's different races. Well, no, 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 no. They're not different races. And just like humans, they're not different races. We're not different races. We're all the human race. Yeah. We well, just have different skin color come, depending on where we evolved yeah, exactly. from. Exactly. So they got That's the same... It. It's, or they got different skin colors, so they're a different race, but they're the same species. Like, we're the same species of race. Yeah. Yeah. We're the same race. It's called the human race. Yeah, but people don't see it like that because we're still stuck in this world and we're talking about the whole galaxy. I know, people don't see it like that because they want to keep the separation. It's just, that's Because we're fucking nerds and we want to evolve. And yeah, we want, to, <laughs> we want it to be that there's the Twi'leks and the humans. Two different races of beings. Is that too much to ask for? Come on, you government. Know, like, like, we're humans, and we have all different colors of skin. Who gives a damn? They're Twi'leks. They got all kinds of different colors of skin. Who gives a damn? We're humans. They're Twi'leks. Let's get along. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's have some really good, really good intergalactic... Relations with some Twi'leks. Well, depending <laughs> on if their anatomy works the same as ours. It does. It's supposed to. It, they literally have, like in Star Wars, multiple times with multiple couples. You see Twi'leks way too many movies online. Of, of Twi'leks being with um, humans and other races. Most of the humanoid like races can interbreed. Most. Yeah. Obviously. Like, there's even some that aren't, that can still interbreed. Yeah. You've like, seen some that, uh, like, a little bit of them in either the Clone Wars or the actual, like, movies. That you see, like, you know, an animal that's, like, you don't see that much of because of that. Why are you going blank? Like I'm not talking about nothing. I was thinking of things. You you got it. I was running through things in my head about okay. the whole intermingling of races. I don't, I don't need Since to know. this started off as a Sith thing, and now we ended on a thing with 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 yeah, I don't know interbreeding. Where, I don't know where we went. I know what happened is you forgot. What you wanted to talk about, I and did you not. just reached for straws, and the straw you reached for. <laughs> I did not. You brought it up, so I was trying to say something, but then we couldn't find but it, you, so it didn't become a whole thing. I did find the woman with the horns. I found her. Not the one that I was talking about. I found the one with the big horns. Oh yeah, you did. See, short to memory. Oh my goodness. 
this. We've been talking about like four things. What do you mean? I got to keep up with all this. And I've been trying to get this working in and it's not going anywhere. So I'm like, okay, fuck. Listen, what do you got? Next one. Choppy, choppy. Okay, what I was saying was... Uh, Sidious did do the rule of two and... Uh, Darth Maul and General Grievous was not like part to be the next in line to be the next Sith. They were assassins. They were Sith assassins, both Maul and Grievous. And Count Dooku, he was basically just a placeholder because he became uh, Sidious's apprentice at like 70. He was only there until Anakin came up and stepped up yeah so the thing with that is a lot of people go the rule of two and then Sidious didn't um didn't follow it but that's not true like there was other ones in the past that had the rule of two but what they did is they trained up a marshal yeah a guy that could didn't really have much for like way of being able to use the force like they didn't train them the force powers yeah, and Vader they the trained them enough Enough in the force that <clears throat> they could sense some things that they needed to be able to use the lightsaber. Yeah, uh, um, really effectively in black, black block blaster bolts. But other than that, they were just um, an assassin with a lightsaber. They yeah. had a little bit of force power, <clears throat> and I can't remember the name, but that's like a specific name. And they did that. Many of them. I just said it. It's right there. Inquisitors. That's what Darth Vader had. Ah, uh, that was later. The Inquisitors was later. It's the this same was before. Concept, though. That was yeah, but they, but the Emperor the Emperor had the right hand as well, and Mara Jade was one of the one of the Emperor's hand. Well, <clears throat> fucking the Sith will find a loophole but on shit. They had they had ones that they did do that, so that way <clears throat> they could send somebody to get the job done. But if they got killed, they were expendable. Yeah. They didn't put too much work into them. They showed them how to do some things and then sent them on their way to fucking get good at what get using a lightsaber and the little bit that they showed them. And <clears throat> there you go. Like, they were just basically the hitman and cannon fodder that could be expendable. We can use them however we want. And when it doesn't work out, oh, well, they think they've killed one of the two Sith. And really, we still have me and my apprentice. Yeah, that's what Grievous was and Ventress in the Clone Wars. Do you think Count Dooku Wasn't was... Wasn't Ventress supposed to be Dooku's? Yeah, but it was more like... And it was on... It was it was, it was was on the sly. You see, yeah. the other thing is, is every one of the apprentices... Yeah, usually they were good. As, <clears throat> usually they attract another apprentice yeah. before they become masters. But that is still going with the rule of two. It's not like the master has two apprentices. But the apprentice was not a master, but it would be a master considered to an apprentice. I guess. They, they just, it was just how it was, man. <laughs> the whole point of the rule of two, though, was basically to keep the amount of Sith down so that when... <clears throat> When the next one, when that one learned everything he could from that one, he'd kill him and take his place. And then he would be more powerful than the old one was. And then they'd have their apprentice. They'd get strong enough to kill the next one. Yeah, and that was the whole about... point. The whole point was to have the number of Sith low enough that you could build the strength. <clears throat> because there was only two that were ever actually really powerful at yeah. one time. Because even the apprentice of the apprentice would only be trained some things, and <clears throat> the apprentice wouldn't want the master to ever know that the other apprentice existed, even when they went to go and kill the master, because <clears throat> that would screw shit up. Yeah, that's what happened with Ventress. Uh, Palpatine found out, or, yeah, Palpatine found out and told Kauduku to kill Ventress, because... He was trying to plot to kill uh, Palpatine to take his place. And Palpatine 
Fuck through that. Same thing with well, uh, I mean, this Savage <laughs> Press. That is the way it goes. Yeah. I mean, Palpatine knows that when he gets an apprentice that's strong enough, eventually... But that would not go in line with the rule, too. Well, I mean, but what I'm saying is, is Dooku plotting to kill... Yeah, that's just the way it goes. But even though... And they, they... So the thing is, is that... And that's the really strange part about it with the Sith. Is that they... <clears throat> there's a rule of two... I'm going to train you to get strong enough to kill me eventually. You will eventually be able to kill me and take my place. And then you will take an apprentice. Okay? Yeah. But they don't want their apprentice to kill them, obviously, because they want to live and rule and do what they want. But at the same time, they do want them to. So when they have those attempts, they kind of punish them a little bit. Because, you know, I caught you, motherfucker. Like, yeah, you didn't, you like, weren't good, good enough. Good job that yeah. we're trying. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that you're trying. I like that you're trying, <laughs> but, but you, you weren't up. ready yet. You weren't ready yet. You fucked up. <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's, that's what it is. It's really strange is that they, 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 they don't, they punish them, but then they don't, like, well, kill them or the, anything. They and they the keep letting them power. under them. And they know that it's got to happen sooner or later, but it's got to be, you know. Yeah, it's all about... The one's full of the Force. Yeah, like when Palpatine was told by the Force to kill what's his name? Plagueis or whatever? Who? His master. Yeah. Sidious killed Plagueis, yeah. Plagueis. Yeah. And there's a whole thing I listened to about that one, too, that we never even got into. Because we got. Yeah, really sidetracked. I don't know where you took this episode, but. All right! Me! Okay! Alright, yeah. I'm flying this thing. Okay. Alright, you wanna call Okay, so guys, I'm a little bit behind on episodes, but I did get one I did get another one up this weekend on the YouTube channel. Um, we also have our Facebook page and our Instagram. When I get all caught up, I will mess around with getting some stuff on the Instagram. What's the name? It's uh Sky River Cantina. For both of them? Um on your ins on your Facebook page it should be sky river cantina and the instagram i also set it up as sky river cantina that's our name brand man that's what we're trying to have right so that's what we we're did. gonna have to uh we're gonna have try to have those links up on all platforms at some point once i gotta get like i said i gotta get caught up i'm three videos behind yeah we're still new at this we're still learning I Give us some time. I had some technical issues yesterday, and I was planning on having all of it caught up, and it did not happen. 